Hello everybody and welcome to another Open Tutorial video tutorial brought to you by OpenTutorial.com. In this tutorial we will be learning how to make an iced text effect using Photoshop. Now I've loaded up Photoshop and I've created a uh, gradient in the background going from a blue to a light blue. Then what we want to do is we want to use the horizontal type mask tool and type in the text that we want. And I'm going to use OT for Open Tutorial. Set it right about in the center. And then uh, make sure it's a, a nice large blocky text that look, makes it look you know like ice cubes. It'll it'll be a make a good effect. You want to save this selection, so we're going to select save selection, and click OK. Now on the channels layer, you'll have your alpha channel here. Uh, your your uh, selection will be there. So click on the alpha channel, and you'll see that we have this uh, white text on a black background. Uh, deselect anything. Now, we, what we're going to want to do is we're going to, instead of having, because ice is more rounded and not sharp, with jagged edges, what we're going to want to do is we're going to soften this up. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to blur it using filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and then uh, set it to where you've got a nice round, pillowy looking effect going around the text. Select OK. And then we want to bring up the levels dialog box under ad image adjustments levels or control L on your keyboard and we're going to bring up this slider here you notice as we bring up the the far right slider the text gets larger the white text gets larger and if we bring down the left slider it becomes more crisp so adjust it however you feel will give you the nice looking kind of what ice would be look like, looking like especially if it was melted a little bit and then select OK now we want to select this by pressing the control key down and clicking this right here. This brings up the, uh, this makes it a selection all the way around. And go to your layers. We want to select a new, create a new layer. And in this layer, we want to place a gradient. So we select the gradient tool. And this gradient is going to go from uh, light blue to dark blue. About like that. Deselect, Control D, and then we're going to apply filter to it, and that filter is going to the render menu, and it's called fibers. Now you want to play with the the variance a little bit and the uh, strength a little bit to give it kind of a icy jagged effect. Hit OK. Then we want to take that again and apply another filter, and that filter is under the artistic menu, and it is plastic wrap. Plastic wrap, will give that, plastic wrap will give it that kind of a, a sheen, kind of that watery ice effect. Um, you want to adjust your highlights, and your detail, and your smoothness to make it look the best that you think it, will, it should be. Click OK. Now we have this uh, kind of an icy looking effect there. We want to apply a layer style to it. You do that by double clicking here. And in the layer style dialog box, we're going to add a bevel and emboss to add some dimension to it. And we want to play with the depth, figure a nice depth on it, the size, and soften it to where it looks, you know, like a nice looking ice block. So you have it looking kind of like that. And this shadow, we don't want it to be black. Black is a little bit too much. We want to pick a nice dark blue. Right about there or so. Select OK. And then... Click OK. Um, what I do in order to keep track of what's going on is I'll uh, I'll click this up box to remove the effects from the layers dialog box. Otherwise, it gets it gets kind of confusing. I'm going to double click this to rename this layer. I'm going to call this layer the back. And I'll duplicate the layer. Right click, duplicate, and we're going to call this layer the front. Hit OK. Now on the now select the back layer. And now using the Move tool, we want to nudge this up and to the right. Um, I've been doing it about four to six times. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six. And to the right, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you do that by pressing the arrow keys on your keyboard, up and to the right. And that'll give a, a, add some more depth to this. Okay, now that we have that, we want to zoom in on the text so we can see it a little bit better. 
and then using the smudge tool on make sure the back layer is selected we want to smudge pull out some of those colors to, to give it more of a, a three-dimensional effect here and here and if need be on the O O looks pretty good that'll help to give it more depth see right about like that there we go and um, bring the zoom back out the next thing we want to do after we've applied the smudge effect to it is to if you notice there's kind of a, a harsh um, what do you call it a sharp line right here select the front layer and then using the blur tool right here select blur tool I want to just on the edge go around and blur the outside on the front layer to kind of help blend that into the back so it doesn't look like, so, it's like there's much of a separation there right along the edge all the way around and down okay that's uh, pretty close right there what we have to the final product what we want to do now is to duplicate these two layers but keep these two layers and how I'm going to do that is I'm going to um, press and hold down the alt key I believe it's command on the Apple and then go layer Oh, actually, before we do that, I'm going to turn off the uh, background layer so you don't see it. And then press and hold down the Alt key, go to Layer, Merge Visible. By pressing the Alt key, you, you retain the uh, the front and back layers. So now you have this uh, layer right here, which we're going to double-click here and rename it. And we're going to call this Reflection. Reflect. Whoops. R-E-F. Reflect. Um, bring this layer to the very bottom. All right. Now we want to invert this under Edit, Transform, not Invert, but uh, flip it. Flip it uh, vertically. Let's turn it upside down. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And using the Move tool and holding on the Shift key, we can then bring it down. So we have this reflective look right here. Okay. Now we want to add another layer, and we want to call this layer Melt. And we're going to create a little bit of a melted snow or melted uh, ice here, and bring this also below the reflect layer. And then using a brush and a light blue, we're going to want to paint in some water. It makes it look like the. Uh, the ice has melted a little bit. Add some little marks here, marks there, marks there, and, and so forth. And then add a, we're going to add a layer style to this layer. And double click here, the layer. And we're going to add a drop shadow. And you might want to play with the distance of the drop shadow a little bit. You don't need much of it, just a slight distance. The spread and the size to make it, you know, make it all pretty small. And then we're going to add a little bevel and emboss to give it a little bit more dimension. Same thing here. Adjust, play with the uh, the size and soften to make it look like there's a puddle of water underneath. So you have this, you know, puddle of water there. And click OK. Um, again, I'm going to close up the effects here so that it, everything is easy to see. Now, I'm going to hold down the Alt key, and I believe it's a command on the piece on the Mac. You uh, hold down the Alt key and select right in between these two layers and click. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a clipping mask, and it's going to clip the uh, the the water and the reflection so that you only see the the reflection on, in the water only. Let's turn the background back on; it gives a nice effect. And then the beautiful thing about Photoshop is that is that these layer styles um, are applied as you you paint, so you can still add more, change it, you know put the water in exactly how you might like it to go um, some drops here and drops there and all around and there you have it an ice text effect using Photoshop alright now uh, there is a, a tutorial 
more in-depth descri- description on how to do this at opentutorial.com. That's www.opentutorial, all one word, dot com. And you can get to it. Uh, go to Open Tutorial, and it should be right on the, the front page. There should be a, a selection there that says, you know, ice text effect in Photoshop. How to make an ice text in Photoshop. So Open Tutorial is also a wiki. So if you want to add, modify, or create a tutorial, you can go ahead and do that. And there's also a lot of tutorials that are up there now as, as and, and constantly growing. So there's new information being put up on a regular basis. And just check it out, uh, www.opentutorial.com. So there you have it, an ice text effect using Photoshop. I'd like to thank you very much for watching this tutorial. And uh, please you know, leave a comment, good or bad. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.